Hey there folks, in this video we're going to be removing some excess spaces between words, also known as an inner trim. So what do I mean by that? Well, why don't we go look at an example that might make it a little bit clearer. I'm going to go to Home, and I'm going to go to Edit Queries. Okay, uh, so uh, starting off, what we've got is we've got some we've got some uh, text strings, column of text strings, that looks kind of like this. We've got cities, right, all these different cities, and we've got the city and the state, and there's spaces between the city and the state, but there's not one space the way we would like. There's just a couple spaces. Sometimes there's one. Sometimes it looks like there's more than one. Gee, what's going on? Well, it, it illuminates a little bit better if we head up here to view and uh, change the text to monospaced, right? If we do that, what we could say is, oh, somebody was trying to be helpful, and when they entered the, the names of these cities, they would sort of add extra spaces to line up the states. Um, so, you know, all of Washington is lined up here, and all of Oregon is lined up here. So there's, you know, one space here, two here, and probably, you know, three there. The problem is, is we don't actually want that. What we want to do is we want to just have the name of the city, one space, and then the name of the state. Now, um, if you had excess spaces uh, in front of the V in Vancouver, leading spaces, or excess spaces after uh, the state, you could just use a text.trim uh, to clean that up. Unfortunately, text.trim does not clean up these inner spaces the way it does in Excel. So we're going to have to get a little bit clever to solve that problem. Uh, thankfully, it's pretty easy. Here, let's, uh, let's take a crack at it. So to start off, I'm going to head up here to Add Columns. And I'm going to add a custom column. I'm going to add a, a bunch of custom columns. This first one, I'm just going to call it Split. And I'm going to do a text.split of the city text string. And so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to take the text string, each one of these text strings, and I'm going to split it by some delimiter, right? This is like the opposite of text to columns, right? We're going to say, okay, we're going to split this into a, a list. And so what is each item in the list? How do I know where one item ends and another one begins? Uh, well, normally you'd use something like a hyphen or a comma, but here we're, we're kind of using this as a hack around anyways. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, uh, every every space, every item between spaces, that's a new object in our list. So we're going to split by space. All right, just single space. Not null string like this, but just a single space, right? And since each one of these things are spaces, what we'll see is... Uh, like an easy example here, white salmon, it'll break up uh, white into the first item of the list, salmon is the second item, and Washington is the third item. But uh, here for uh, for Camus, what you'll see is that you'll end up with uh, Camus, then you'll end up with a bunch of null strings right in the list. So it's between each one of these spaces, well, there's nothing between it, but it'll return it as just a uh, a list item with just a null string in it, null string being uh, that right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit OK. So sure enough, if we head over here to White Salmon, we can see in our preview, White, Salmon, Washington, we've got three items in this list. Hooray! If we head up here to uh, Beaverton, perfect, just the way we want it. Let's head up to uh, Portland. So Portland, because there's two spaces here, right, it says, all right, everything to the left of the first space, that's an object. Everything between the first and second space that's a new object in the list. Well, there's nothing really there, so we end up with is this sort of null string, right? And then everything after the, the last space, well, that's uh, that's the third item in the list. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to basically uh, go through each one of these lists and just remove all of these uh, null string uh, elements in the list. Let me come up here to a big one, just so you can see here, like in Canvas, gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole lot of spaces in there, okay? So uh, what we're going to do, yoink, uh, this is pretty easy. We're going to add another custom column. And we're going to say, all right, we're going to, um, I guess, I don't know, what do you want to call this? Collapse. We're going to shrink these things down. In fact, let's call it that. I like that name better. Let's shrink. Shrink. Okay, so what are we going to shrink these things down by? We're going to say, all right, take each one of these lists. And what do you want to do to it? We're going to do a list.select. So we're going to select only item, certain items in this list. So we're going to go through all the items in the list and keep some of them. Well, which ones do we want to keep? Well, go through each item in the list and keep the ones where it is not equal to null string. Right? Let's go through each item in the list, take it, and see is it equal or not equal to null string. If it's not equal to null string, keep it. If it is, get rid of it. Boom. So we hit OK. Now we end up with this new list. 
Okay, perfect. And here in Camus, <clears throat> notice here before we had all of these, all the spaces, created all these null string objects in the list. Whoop. We come over to here. They're all gone. So now all we have to do is combine these things. Again, super duper easy. Head over here to add a custom column. I'm going to call this combine. <clears throat> and we're going to do a text dot combine. Well, what are we going to combine the text of? Well, we're going to take the uh, take this list, right? And we're going to combine all the elements in it, right? So uh, if I did something like, let's do something like this. Um, a and uh, B, right? That would let me close out the list. <clears throat> this is a list of items, and it would basically create this new text string that was A B, like like that, right? That's what the result would be. Well, okay, that's that's cool. But here's the thing: is you know we want to take uh, we already have these lists pretty popular, so we can go ahead and just use the ones that we already made a second ago. So I'm gonna hit delete, and I'm going to double click on shrink, and hit. <clears throat> Okay, now this is actually not perfect yet. If you'll notice right here, we've got uh, a problem where we've combined the items in the list, but we needed to add a space between them. So I'm going to go back, hit the gear icon, change my formula just a little bit. Second argument, second optional argument of text.combine is the delimiter. What do you want to use to break these things apart? And I'm just going to add a space. So when we combine these things together, put a space in between them. Boom. There you go. Okay. Nice and easy. I do hope that was helpful, and I will see you next video.